Hey everyone, I just wanted to give a quick rundown for my league starter, the Fireball, Firestorm, the Falling Meteor Miner, which, in case you haven't heard the news, Firestorm shit the bed really bad. So, we're a Blazing Salvo Miner now. So if you want to know how to play Blazing Salvo, you're in the right spot. If you want to know how to play Firestorm, don't. Alright. So, first things first. The gear. This is the most important thing aside from the passive tree, which are hand in hand, doesn't matter what you do first. Uh, I did drop a carcass jack early, cool. Which isn't required, but is helpful for good clear. I currently have Blazing Salvo linked with Elemental Focus, High Impact, Increased Critical Strikes, and Greater Multiple Projectiles. Now the multiple projectiles is very important on here, as these can overlap. And in fact, do a lot. 12 of these is hitting. The average damage seems really small on there, but believe me, it is significantly more damage than you would think when you get something like that going on. Single target wise. There isn't a lot to go over on the gear. You have plus to spell gems, plus to spell damage, flat lightning, I guess. I don't know. This is pretty scuffed. Plus to fire spell gems, flat fire, crit multi. I did pay a little bit for this one. I think that's, yeah, that is just a normal spell damage roll. Movement speed, life, filling in resistances. Movement speed, life, except no movement speed because these are gloves, filling in resistances. Life, resistances, etc. Oh, yeah, no, don't don't look at my rings. Holy shit. Uh, life, resistances, crit chance, fire damage crafted on there. Lots of life, little bit of resistances. The, the, the point on this is the gear is like... It, this is just a strong skill. Uh, couple it with Sniper's Mark, because these are projectiles. You throw that on there, and then it just melts bosses. It, it's, it sincerely melts bosses. I've been using Frost Shield, but honestly, I don't think it's very good for this. So don't do that. But a Flame Dash is my movement skill of choice with Smoke Mine on the off. I'm running Skitter Bots plus Flame of... No, I'm not. Why is that on there? I've been running... I've not been running that. I've been running Clarity... Because it's a little necessary right now. I can work out the mana a little bit later. But this is still just the starter build. I'm a couple days late on getting a video up. So don't, don't yell at me there. Um, Diamond Flask required as always. Jade Flask is good. And I'm sure you're wondering, where's your evasion percent increase? It's here on the Stib Knight Flask. We go with that. We hit the defenses. Boom. It's pretty good. It's honestly not bad for not really having a lot of investment into um, evasion. Oh god, that's not even quality. Jesus, I shouldn't be making guides. Uh, we have a bunch of pyroclasts in the offhand leveling up because I was doing pyroclast mines, which is funny because it's like the same thing. Uh, where are you at? There was one? Yeah, that's the one I was using. I guess I could have just taken one from there. It's like the same thing, but it's, it's better AoE for clear, but it does significantly less damage on bosses. So next step, the passive tree. I haven't gotten my sixth Uber Lab trial. Don't even start with me. So first step, I went uh, here for the Skitterbot Synergy, which you do link with uh, Infernal Legion, which gives full shock, chill, and burning effect from here. Incredible damage. Next, I went over here, got the AoE, got the mind throwing speed, very zoom zoom. Then you come here, get the ignite and shock resist. Uh, immunity then you get the you get the regen it's okay it's kind of just like a filler one but this is going to be the next one 100 percent increase effect from ores and mines i do use a high impact mine not blast chain mine for the double damage dealing which if i understand this correctly and i'm i don't like google stuff very often i just like play the game my understanding is if i have 19 mines here let's just round up to 20 for easy maths that should be 40 percent Chance to deal double damage. This should make that 80. That's insane. So. That's really good. Ascendancy over. When I started leveling. I went. Broop, and then down here. Grabbed this up. Because I was firestorm. Grab a little bit of life. You can, I grabbed this later. You don't really need that right away. Grabbed here. I never grabbed that notable. Boy. Boy. <laughs> Oh, it's nice to go over uh, telling someone what to do when you don't know what you're doing. Anyway, you go over here, grab up the life. You grab up uh, this way later. Don't do that right away. You skip down to here. You want uh, is this one. 
so that way your mines don't just immediately get blown up by some sort of AoE or something pretty quick. And then you can grab over here as well just after that. Now, I know the life pool is a little low on this, but it's softcore. So, come down here, grab this, grab the acrobatics. I did anoint this on me amulet. And you're going to work your way over here. Honestly, I could probably take this out. Like, the AoE on Blazing Salvo is not that important. It is okay, but, like, this this could probably be... Don't don't take this. You get, you get your life, you get your life, you get your damage, you get your life, you get your life. You get your damage, you get your damage, you get your life. This one's important. Throwing speed. Mine throwing speed is so important. Look at that. Look how zoom zoom that is. And now it's even faster because of the ascendancy after you throw one. And for the most part, this is just kind of like a typical cookie cutter miner build. I could put in, aside from my weapons, there's no damage that isn't just mines and AoE. But if I took out that, that, and that, it wouldn't even have to be AoE mines. I guess this too. But I never even grabbed that. That's hilarious. Though. So, oh, this is important too. Um, this one and this one. This is crit chance. That's really, really good. This one is the um, extra damage taken aura. That's also really, really good. You do grab this like way late though. So crit, crit you always go like way later. For the most part. So, now that I've shown you pretty much everything. This is like a super simple build. Which by the way, if you don't know about the steel skin thing. Uh, you can do this with Enduring Cry if you're all the way down here, where you have instant War Cries. But uh, if you don't, just use like Steel Skin. It's really good. But you just put it in your left click, it never stops you from moving, and if you hold it down, it'll just use on cooldown for free. So that's like pretty cool. It, it does need to be leveled up, but I don't have no strength yet, and I haven't uh, gotten around to fixing that. So, I think that's pretty much everything there is to go over. Um... Steel skin, increased duration, right, Val Rage is fire for boss kills, clarity, smoke mine, yep, I, I'm not actually using this yet, arcane surge, second wind on flame dash, that's important, gives you a little bit more spell damage and mana regen, cast speed, but we don't use it, frost shield, don't use it, sniper's mark is good, I know there's some like, there's some like mid maxi stuff to go here, but it is like, it's a cheap budget build, the only item Besides the chess piece, but I dropped this. The only item I paid any money for is I paid 60 C for this wand on, like, day two or something. And, I don't know, seemed worth it. Spell damage, plus to level, plus one, uh, or plus to flat tier one. This is pretty, this is pretty good damage upgrade. Take that off. Boink. That's a lot of damage. It's 1,200 right there. That's a, that's a third of the damage, almost, is this wand. So, all right, I think that's pretty much it. So, I'm just going to shut up and run a map so you can see the play style. And if you guys have any questions, I'm live every day from 12 to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Twitch, except Wednesdays. And you can come by and ask some questions. Anyway, uh, enjoy the clear. Just need a moment to...